Yeah, Elijah Wan Sauce was supposed to make a 6-6. Six, six. I don't know why he made a 6-3. But we gave a big man out here to guard me? Oh my god! Oh no! I'm about to say. Come on, bro. The late green is insane, 2K. Today, I'm finna bless y'all with the best dribble moves for tall guards in NBA 2K24. Now, I've changed my SIGs a few times since the game has come out, but what I'm using right now has actually been going good for me. Been playing in the rec, played a little bit of the park. Park has a weird input lag, so I'm not really liking the park right now. But the dribble moves that I have on my 6'6 point guard, you feel me, is a... Uh, pretty nice i feel like you know what i'm saying best ones in the game and i ain't gonna hold y'all too long so we can go ahead and tap into it now just to let y'all know off the rip my point guard is a 94 overall three point shot hunter i dropped a build video on the channel so if you want to go check that out make sure y'all do that after this video now my attributes currently this is what we looking like to get what i have you need a 93 92 ball handle i went 93 for a specific badge but i have a 92 ball handle 83 speed with ball, 82 accelerate, I mean 82 speed, 87 acceleration. And this is how I look at 94. So dribble styles when 2K24 started, I went to old reliable Gabby Williams, but Gabby Williams is not good this year. It is actually fairly slow. So I ended up going with Zach Levine's dribble style. It's fitting me. I'm able to speed boost out of it. Um, it's probably the best dribble style for six sixes right now. The only other option that you could have gotten right here would be the magic johnson dribble style it's good for the uh, speed boost and push cross but i don't have it because outside of speed boost and push cross it ain't good for nothing else now my signature size up as you see i went through a couple of different ones i had normal pro carmelo anthony and terry rozier now the terry rozier finessed me because as y'all see on the screen it looks like you can combo up with the terry rozier a pretty decent amount like the tween behind the backs the tween tweens look kind of fast but overall when i tried to combo with the rest of my moves it just wasn't working so i went with the job morant i like the herky jerky you know kind of like side to side dribble it kind of gives me like uh the size of escape feel so you know what I'm saying? If you watch it right here when it resets, right there, size up. You know what I'm saying? A little herky jerky side to side. So, John Moran is what I'm going on the signature size ups. Regular breakdown combos. I started with D'Angelo Russell because I played with the Lakers as soon as I got my hands on the game. And I kind of liked the way that D'Angelo Russell was dribbling. But all in all, it came down to me putting on the De'Aaron Fox because I could cancel out of whatever I want. And he does that little walk back that you're seeing right there before the speed boost. So the walk back and then you get the speed boost push cross with the De'Aaron Fox regular breakdown combo. So for me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that 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 worked. If I could go tween, tween, James Harden, tween, I could cancel out of it with the De'Aaron Fox uh, regular breakdown combo. So it fits my play style. And like I said, James Harden. So James Harden is what I picked for the aggressive breakdown combos. Now I could have went Jamal Murray because Jamal Murray's look kind of nice too. As you see, you know what I'm saying? The tween cross right there. The Jamal Murray look kind of nice. I might actually try Jamal Murray out again just because it's pretty fast. Like, that's kind of fast and it is going to be fast in the game. But I'm going with the James Harden. The slow, methodical tween cross, tween cross, tween cross. I can cancel out of that. I can combo that with a nice behind the back. Um, You know, nice, hezzy side step. Whatever I want to do, you can do a lot out of that James Harden. But don't be surprised if I dropped another video and I have switched and I'm using Jamal Murray. Now for the escape, as you see, I went through a different good amount of escape packages, LaMelo, Luka, KD, Kimba, but I'm obviously using the Trey Young right now um, for crab purposes. When I get in front of my defender, try to keep him crabbed, I use the Trey Young, but the LaMelo ball creates space on the escape. As you saw the first move, he kind of did like a little slight in and out cross, got that space right there. So LaMelo would be good, but I just haven't tried to chain Lamelo's ball handling with any of my other combos yet i just know that the trey young goes in and it fits perfectly so we rocking with trey young but like i said about jamal murray don't be surprised if i kind of change this up in the future you know what i'm saying because just to test it out and see what i can do now my combo moves i tried De'Aaron fox because i like the little uh behind the back that De'Aaron fox had he had the double behind the back the tween cross was pretty good too but I mean, even the Zach Levine was okay. The twin cross for Zach Levine, you can really combo that and cancel out of that. So imagine me putting the Zach Levine together with um, the De'Aaron Fox breakdown combo and I can cancel out of that, then combo into something else. 
that would be pretty good too but ultimately i picked the tim hardaway because i like the double tween tween and you can only get the tim hardaway with a 90 ball handle but you know what i'm saying the tim hardaway the double tween tween to create space i can go into another combo out of that it's very fast in transition so tim hardaway works for me and i'm satisfied now the crossover these are your moving crossovers kind of like in transition whatever the case may be i went kobe bryant just straight push cross get to it if i want to get to the rim this is kind of fast i actually use this in some of the uh plays that i make like if i'm pushing up in transition i just cross over and it, especially if i'm in takeover i'm pulling up almost at the half court line because normally this breaks down defenders because they're not ready for the fast cross the aaron foxes was cool as well but the between the legs kind of slowed down and his push cross is just like a push to the other side it doesn't really explode out of there like i wanted it to and then john ja morant's right to left was just a little too slow like it looks great in real life ja can do it in real life it looks great but on here i don't know i think kobe just is a better option now for the behind the back i know y'all probably seen a lot of people using it but the jamal murray works the best for me it creates the most space in transition it is pretty slow but the standing still it just gets so much space so i really don't use uh i really don't use that in transition I actually use more so just the standing still combos because in transition, I like it. I like it. But my spin moves, I mean, don't look at Jokic because Jokic is on my center build that y'all seen. You know what I'm saying? Build video for the center build. Go ahead and check that out. 7-1 Demigod. But I'm using Penny Hardaway spin move. Um, I don't really spin a lot, but when I do, I get a good amount of separation and creation with the Penny Hardaway. So I'm definitely liking the penny hardaway spin right now it's no longer the spin back in the game i haven't seen one spin back since 2k24 came out so i ain't even tripping on the spin back we just gonna go with penny hardaway and, and do what we can do hesitation i got ja, uh john ja moran john ja moran creates so much space with that hezzy is holding r2 flicking up diagonal right same ball hand or flicking up diagonal left same ball hand but as you see that in and out you know what i'm saying kind of carry a lot of casuals will say it's a travel but it's a good move but yeah, I kind of like that. That right there, then I can go behind the back, tween cross, whatever the case may be. Sometimes if I'm in takeover, I can pull up off of that because Sharp Badge lets you shoot from Yucatan. So it really don't even matter. But yeah, the Ja Morant, we locked in. And last but not least, man, my step backs. All right, Luka Doncic step back, not happening. Jason Tatum step back, too slow. Kimball Walker step back is actually pretty fast. But the John Wall step back, bro, it creates so much space from your defender and it's like standstill step back the long snatch back that you may see a lot of people that one right there bro it creates so much space i've gotten so open using that snatch back so john wall is really you know what i'm saying the best thing available and i mean if you just care for the rest of my animations these is what i'm using but these were the dribble moves and i also got kobe bryant's triple threat style y'all put these on you know what i'm saying and let me know how y'all feel about it again my uh dribbling is a 92 or 93 so y'all have to have this dribbling to get the same dribble moves that i got you feel me hit that sub button drop a like on the video hope y'all enjoyed it i'll catch y'all next time peace